In this video I show you how to transfer the Mitsubishi user web page to the SD card which is put into the FX5 CPU. Hello and off we go on the explanation on how to communicate and download the program directly to the SD card that is mounted in the CPU. Um, in order to do this, we need to make the correct communication settings. And just to remind you that in a previous video, I did show you on how to set up the IP address, which is uh, in the GX Work 3, the way the parameters, uh, the FX5U and then the module parameters Ethernet port and then you get shown all the data that you previously put in. And then we will go back to the web designer tool and put in the set IP address. The username that we also Put in the setup in the F in the GX works and the password accordingly. You can make a communication test on whether or not it's working. And now it says connection with the PLC was successful. Okay. Um, once we got that done, we can go back to communication file right. And then it says the following settings are required. Uh, that basically means that if you got a blank, if you got a blank SD memory card in your FX5U, it will not be able to transfer the file. So you need to create first uh, a file, the, the, the folders which we did in the previous video, and then you are enabled to download the program. Put in the credentials again. Just one moment. Uh, the username and the appropriate password. There you go. And off we go. So, this message here is pretty important because um, it is actually necessary to put the CPU in stop mode, which you go over to the GS works to the online remote operation. And here you've been asked on whether you want to put it in run, stop, pause or reset mode. Now we want to put it in stop mode, execute it. And you can see the CPU has stopped now and now we should be able to transfer the file and it asks you for the same the same message pops up again also here and then we'll continue and now it's actually transferring the file so once that is done you get a message and you want to go over and put the CPU in run mode again And you can see this here, it's in run mode. And if we go over to our web browser and renew the page, you will see that actually we have everything transferred now and we should be able to display actually when the PLC is running. Mm, let's see if I can just get it to run real quick. I didn't set that up yet, but... Um, Maybe if we got this M10 high, then you see, then uh, we should get some. Yep. And you see here the D, the D1. That's what we put in here for on the previous on the previous video. We put in this for an address. Yeah, the contrast is pretty bad here, but how to set up this item here, I will show you in another video. And that was it for setting up the 
component data block and we will see you in the next video. And I'd be always happy to get a like from you and also a subscription.